my name is Gilson Sukeveres. Uh, I live here in São Paulo, in the district of in Bom Retiro. We are now in the synagogue Rabbi Itzhak Elhanan. This is the synagogue of the Lituan people here in São Paulo. This synagogue has three floors. Uh, one floor exclusive for women and we have two uh, toras, toras, torot here this place downstairs and another one upstairs so we pray here during the week we have a very close contact with the community of the Jewish from Lituan this synagogue start in 1936 start the building in 1956 and start to pray here finish the, the the building in 1957 so from there from this start to now we keep the synagogue alive and with people coming and praying not only during the New Year's and the Yom Kippur, but also every day with prayers in the morning, in the afternoon and the night, the three times in the day that the Jewish people pray. So um, uh, how many synagogues are in this district and how it came to be that uh, Litvaks established one synagogue and other people, other synagogues? After the Second World War, people that came here in Sao Paulo, they leave it together each one from the place that they come for instance the people from Lituan they are together and they start to build and to keep their tradition and all the customs all the things they are making in his birthplace so this is a piece of the Lituan history that they bring here to Sao Paulo every people that come from another countries from poland and austria and uh, every places from the uh, soviet union they made his whole synagogues and they're also the synagogues from the orthodox they are uh, uh, different not different but they they pray exactly from the law for the Jewish they also have their synagogues but this is our synagogue with our tradition from Lithuania and so um, you were born in this district uh, how did uh, this district change over the time and uh, the synagogue how did it change over the time when the people the, the Jewish people came f from you they established here the Jewish community uh, my father came here and made a family. Uh, I was born in this district. I live about 25 years in this district. And I also keep my roots in the district and especially this synagogue. So um, in the early days was a very calm district, a very... Uh, the people are very close because they have the same culture uh, it, for instance during the new years and during the yom kippur the neighbor are totally close has a, a holiday but only the district was close because this is was the the jewish way of life and the respect for the special days New Year's and Yom Kippur. Uh, nowadays, the districts became part of the big center of São Paulo. São Paulo is a, a huge city. So now this district, Bom Retiro, became part of the big center. So now it's not so safe. It's not a, a, a small town in the, 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 the big city. In the early days, Bon Retiro was a small town in the, in the middle of the big city of São Paulo. 
So how many people of Lithuanian uh, heritage uh, still come to the synagogue? Uh, during the last New Year's Day, uh, I think came about 70, 80 people, men and women, here to pray for the New Year's and uh, Yom Kippur. So you mentioned um, many of the people in the district came after World War II, but uh, as I understand, your family came uh, before World War II. Only and my father came before the end of the World War II, the Second World, World War II. Uh, my grandfather sent him to Brazil uh, before the start the bad things of the war. So how did he decide that to do that? My grandfather was a, a person that loved to read, and he reads the Mein Kampf. After he read Mein Kampf, he closed the book and said to the family, "Okay, we have to move from here. The things will be bad, very bad for us here in Europe." So he sent my father. My father was in the age of 18 years old. He came here to, to Brazil, speci specifically to São Sebastião. And after that, he came to São Paulo and made his family, our family. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.